Hi everybody, I figured that I would go over the equipment I use when Banner and I are working in the woods. Banner's my 16 year old pony gelding. He's about 36 inches tall and I just figured I would show some of the equipment I use and why I use it. Um, I use, this is just a leather surcingle, simple. I don't use a crupper or anything like that and I don't use trace carriers because Banner's pretty good with things around his legs and it just seems like another piece of equipment that I don't really need. He's wearing a full collar with Hames and I have lowered the rain turrets. I had them custom made to lower them because I felt like they were too high um, how they came originally. Originally they were probably up here and it was just very high. It kind of broke the rain angle from his mouth back to me working. Um, I also tied on these hooks that are meant for um, catching the heel chains, but usually they're on the britching. But since I don't have britching, I put them up here on the front of the collar. So if we're not hooked up to something, he can walk around a little more comfortably um, and we can get some stuff done that way. Banner stop. Um, the reins I have are just synthetic. I think they are maybe half inch synthetic reins. They're about 20 feet long. I also have a set of 30 foot long ones that I use as well when I'm working. More pulling just small logs in the woods. It helps get me out of the way so I don't get hit by them. The only downside to them is they are heavy. So I don't like to use them too often, especially with a bit, because your rain pressure is multiplied a lot. For a bridle, he just uses, he'll use just about anything. Yesterday I had him in a three-piece snaffle, which he did well. This is just a low port. It has a forward angle on the port. It's a Bowman bit, which I highly recommend if anybody's looking for bits. And this is a curb strap, but it's not used for leverage. It's just used in case things get a little crazy. It'll help keep the bit stable in his mouth if I have to use a lot of la lateral pressure on the side. Um, as far as this, what I use to carry wood, I've used this sled. It's a jet sled to carry pieces of firewood as well as small logs that I'm going to put in there today so it doesn't tear up the ground. It, um, it's really nice to use in the snow. It's pretty nice to use in this kind of weather, which is a nice uh, February day. It's muddy, which isn't very nice, but it, the sled does pretty well. It doesn't tear the ground up. Banner tears it up more than he, the sled does. But I put this piece of wood to give the bolts a good place to be anchored. You can see I have big washers and bolts with lock nuts on them. On this side, in the front, there's the front of the eye bolts, again with washers, and they're shackled into a piece of chain, which then gets centered so that it's nice and centered on the sled, and I have a quick connect link there to have the single tree. And this is a big, I think it's a wagon single tree. Um, I actually prefer to use, I have just metal ones, but I don't have my metal one at the, at the moment. And this is a hook style single tree, so the chain ends on my traces hook in on either side. It's super quick. I've only had it come undone a few times, and mostly when things are kind of crazy. Sometimes the wood gets hung up or the sled gets hung up, and that's usually when it comes off. But that is the hook end single tree, which hooks in to the end of these traces. The links just stay on. They stay on really well, surprisingly, for such a simple system. But that is what I use, and it works pretty well for me. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, and I hope you all have a good day. Thanks.